Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I recently got a new desk to replace my old one from college and I completely revamped my desk setup. So in today's video, I thought it'd be interesting to take you guys through my new and improved desk setup as well as show you the different parts of my setup that I use for work, gaming, video editing, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First, arguably the most important part of my setup is my PC. I use it primarily for work, gaming, and video editing. It has an RTX 3070 GPU, an AMD 5800X processor, and 32 gigs of RAM, just to name a few of the specs. It renders 4K footage a lot faster than my laptop, so I use my PC for editing bigger, more professional projects where I shoot in higher quality and the video footage needs more power to render. It just got to the point where editing high-res footage on my laptop just became way too difficult and frustrating, so with the help of a few friends, I built this PC to become a main workhorse. And I'll put a link to that video somewhere in the perimeter here, so you can go check that out and see the process of building that PC. So next up, we have my laptop. And let me tell you, this thing has been with me through thick and thin. I first got it the summer before my freshman year of college, and four and a half years later, it still pretty much works just like new. Well, not exactly the same, but for most of the things I use this laptop for, such as editing these YouTube videos, editing photos, trading stocks, writing, email, the list goes on. This laptop can process all those tasks with relatively short load times, and it almost never freezes. And there's nothing even really too impressive about the specs. It's a 2015 MacBook Pro with, I believe, a 2.2 gigahertz i7 processor and 16 gigs of RAM. But I'm convinced that the main reason why this laptop still runs pretty well is because I haven't updated it in years. Those updates always just seem to slow down the hardware with all the new features that Apple's trying to add. And I don't really need the new features. I'm perfectly content with the ones I have, so I just haven't touched it. Also, another thing to mention is that this laptop back in 2015 was actually more expensive than my PC that I just built by a pretty wide margin, actually. But honestly, this laptop was worth every penny. It has a special place in my heart. It's so versatile and convenient, and I use it for so many different things. And it's probably one of the things I would run back into a burning building for. All right, so next up, we have my monitor. It's actually not my monitor. It's actually my girlfriend's who's letting me borrow it. Uh, because her company sent her her own monitors, so it's a win-win. But it's a Samsung curved monitor. I'm not too sure how many inches. I think it's like 27 inches across. But having more screen real estate is definitely nice, especially for things like work and video editing when it's more efficient to have more things on your screen at one time. So yeah, I've definitely been enjoying it. I'm not too picky on monitors in general. You know, I don't really need like the 144 hertz refresh rate because I'm not like a huge competitive gamer or anything. So this monitor is more than sufficient. Yeah, big thanks to my girlfriend for letting me borrow it. All right, so moving on to my keyboard. I have the Razer Black Widow V3. I got it relatively recently on sale on Cyber Monday. I personally quite like this keyboard, my girlfriend not so much because I'll admit it is quite loud. Yeah, I won't lie, the typing sound is quite deafening. So maybe in the future for the purpose of working at night or just working more quietly, I might have to switch keyboards, but I still really like this keyboard. I actually purposely bought a mechanical one because I do like the sound of the clicking and the tactile feel. Plus there are just so many different customization options with this keyboard from programming the different keys to do certain things or changing the colors. But yeah, similar story with my mouse. I have the Razer Death Adder V2. I mainly just got it because it was on sale and I've used Razer's products in the past and I just know they make good stuff. But yeah, overall it's a great mouse. I can't complain. Like the keyboard, there's a lot of custom customization options with both the color and the two buttons on the side, which is pretty handy as well. All right, next is probably the most underrated part of my setup, and that is this wrist guard. Carpal tunnel is no joke. I had it this past summer where the entire length of my forearms were completely numb, albeit it wasn't from typing, it was actually from holding heavy camera equipment for prolonged periods of time at sort of an awkward angle. But to prevent that from happening again, wrist comfort is definitely gonna be a priority for me. And also, since it's more comfortable to type, you're probably gonna be more likely to work for longer periods of time, so it definitely helps to boost productivity as well. All right, so next up we have my headphones. These are the Beats Solo 2s. These actually came with my laptop as part of a deal that Apple is doing. But as you can tell, these have gone through quite a lot as well. So this piece actually entirely snapped off when I haphazardly put these headphones in my backpack when I was traveling. And because my backpack was so stuffed, the pressure just kind of crushed the headphones. But I was able to salvage it with the use of this tape and it works completely fine as far as I can tell. I mean, it can't bend anymore, which is why I use it purely at my desk setup. But yeah, these are still great headphones, great sound quality, so. Yeah, I've just kind of held on to them. And finally, my most recent addition to my setup is this desk. So prior to getting this desk, I was using a secondhand desk that I got for like 50 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. My old desk was just too cramped and it didn't have the surface area I needed. So I finally decided to pull the trigger and splurge for one of these standing desks. And so far, I haven't regretted my purchase. And in case you were looking for a standing desk yourself or looking to upgrade your own desk setup, the model I have is the E8 from FlexiSpot. I'm not gonna lie, I did a lot of research and deliberating over what desk to get. There are just so many different models out there that 
that was actually really hard to choose, but this brand just seemed like it had the best blend of both quality and price. I also opted to get the 60 by 30 inch size because I wanted room to put my PC on the desk itself for better airflow, as well as have the option to potentially upgrade to a dual monitor setup and have my laptop on the desk for things like Zoom calls and multitasking. So there you have it. That is my desk setup as of March 2022. I'm always looking to make incremental changes and improvements to my desk setup to boost efficiency and productivity. So it'll be interesting to see where my desk setup is a year from now, perhaps. Also, if you have anything that works for you and your desk setup, please do let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And one more quick thing. I just want to thank all my subscribers for getting this channel to 100 subscribers. I'm ecstatic that we were able to reach this first milestone. And I just want to thank each and every one of you that takes the time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope you're enjoying the content. I'll admit I'm still very much in the experimentation phase of my channel. So I'm kind of just making videos that interest me and I hope that you'll find them interesting as well. But if you have any video ideas that you would like to see, please do drop them in the comments below. And yeah, I guess we're on the road to a thousand now. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.